In the next few videos, we will take a look at the tools that are favored by fresh Illustrator users, the Shape Builder tool and the Live Paint tools. I guess their popularity is based on the fact that using them is really intuitive and that they just do what you expect them to. Let's first talk about the Shape Builder tool that sits right here in the Tools panel and has a default shortcut of the Shift plus M key combination. So what does it do and how can it help you? The Shape Builder tool merges or erases simple shapes to create custom complex shapes. And why did I mention earlier that it is intuitive? Let's take a look at the Shape Builder tool in action. I got three simple shapes right here. A rounded rectangle on top, a rectangle in the middle and an ellipse in the bottom and they all form a lab flask, which may look familiar to the ones of you who have seen my flat design lab flask class. I'm going to make sure that the shape builder tool is selected and that all of these shapes are selected as well. I know that some of you might be anxious to just combine all these elements to create a lab flask, but let's explore this tool's functions one step at a time. First of all, notice that whenever we hover over a part of a shape, Illustrator is highlighting it, giving us a hint that right now, if we just click, we are going to get a separate shape. So in this case, if I will just click maybe on the ellipse, notice that the Shape Builder tool essentially cut this piece out of the ellipse. If we click on maybe this top part, this rounded rectangle here, we will get this kind of a shape. And this small rectangle right here as well. So this technique is producing essentially the same results as the divide option inside the Pathfinder tool. Let me step back a few times. So I'm going to select the top rounded rectangle and the rectangle. Hit divide in the Pathfinder tool. Ungroup the shape. And uh, as you can see, basically the result looks the same. I know I mentioned before that the Shape Builder tool is for merging and erasing and I started with dividing. So let's start merging and erasing in the next video.